So, in Black Myth Wukong, mana is your main source of essentially like magic power to use your spells. And I saw a video from DPJ, credit to him for this. There is an infinite or unlimited mana glitch, and this is insane and is very, very easy to use. So what you need to do is make sure that you have the... You've got Cloud Step, so if we go into these... Make sure you have Cloud Step. You don't need any of these uh, underneath it or anything like that. But then also make sure you are using Pillar Stance. But you need to have Sweeping Gale. Now with this, how it is, you are going to need to consume a Focus Point. However, on the left-hand side of this uh, Staff Stance's tree, all the way at the bottom, if you can get Endeavor, that lets you do it without a Focus Point. So basically what we're going to do, and this is nutty, you guys will probably be able to tell by the thumbnail alone. If we do the incense at the shrine, we rest at this shrine, then we come out of it. We're going to kill an enemy or two. If I start with this guy quickly, this is how <laughs> nutty this is in a moment. Once we've got that focus point. Okay, so I'm going to have to kill the archer as well. So when you have a focus point, unless you've got endeavor, you can do it without. Basically, what you want to do is do three light attacks, follow it up with a heavy. That's going to do your sweeping gale. And whilst that's happening, keep spamming your right trigger, like if you're on controller. Basically, keep spamming cloud step until you actually pull off a cloud step. So what you want to do is three light attacks. And then just pressure the heavy attack and keep spamming cloud step. And then it does one. And then what you can do is you can consume all of your mana. And you can just keep casting this over and over again. Even though we have no mana, we're still able to cast it. I wouldn't do it too much. It will crash your game. But you can see we have a load of, um, a load of clones of ourselves. And if we come up to this big guy, what we can do is immobilize. And do it again. And again. And you can just keep doing it. And then you can watch all of your clones go in. And wreck him. They might not even... Oh no, they all disappeared before he died. So we'll go in and just finish off that kill. But then if I wanted more, I can just go... Okay, we'll use the pluck of many. And then we'll do it again. And this is all without having any mana. And then the way to get out of it, if you want to stop using the glitch for any reason, all you have to do is transform. So that would be using red tides, or that's the one I've got equipped. Or I believe you can fast travel and that like basically deactivates it as well. But you can immobilize it, basically all of your spells and everything. Your mana, even though you have none in the bar at the bottom left, your mana is infinite. You can do unlimited spells and it's crazy. So if I just quickly show you, I'll summon two more lots of clones. And then what we'll do is we will transform. Then we will detransform. And then when I try doing it again, it says insufficient mana to cast. So that's us out of the glitch. But as long as you're not fast traveling, as long as you are not transforming, you can use the glitch for as long as you want to use it for against all the bosses and everything. So it's crazy. But you do need Pillar Stance, you do need Sweeping Gale within Pillar Stance, and you do need Cloud Step. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Those are the only requirements for it. And that was an infinite or unlimited mana glitch to get yourself as many spells cast as you want without worrying about mana. And what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Black Myth Wukong in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.